Hello, guys. It's Debbie. It's time. I've got a brand new location. 10510 Airline Highway, Baton Rouge, next to After Five Tuxedos. We have the perfect spot to get all your wedding and formal wear needs. Come see our one-of-a-kind name brand and get great prices. With 30 years experience, the best customer service anywhere. It's Debbie's Bridal, Airline Highway, Baton Rouge. See you soon. The Team Automotive Group, we're offering you the team guarantee on new and used vehicles. Included with every new vehicle is a lifetime limited powertrain warranty. And now, get a 90-day warranty on the purchase of a pre-owned vehicle. Get the team guarantee at every location of the Team Automotive Group. Visit Treads and Care Tire Company's new location on Hooper Road in Central. Locally owned for over 50 years, Treads and Care is known for quality automotive repair and top-notch customer service. I'd like to invite you to come out and see us at our new location in Central. No one can stop me when I taste the feeling Nothing could ever bring me down Nothing, nothing could ever bring me down Taste the feeling Welcome as we start today's edition of the Clarence Bug Show. Here's hoping all is well with you and yours in your little slice of South Louisiana heaven since the last time we had to spend some time with you and yours. We start today's show as we typically do with Louisiana news and another tragedy unfolding, one that it pains me to say was completely avoidable. All three bodies now, according to the Louisiana Department of Wildlife and Fisheries, have been recovered from Lake Maurepas after a triple drowning there recently. The individuals have now been identified officially as 48-year-old Michael Bryant of Denham Springs, 20 year old Zane Bryant of Denham Springs and 18 year old Zachary Laduff of Greenville Springs. According to officials, and I'll be the first to admit I was not aware of this, I knew that it applied to Lake Punchatrain and Lake Verrett, that weather can change over these bodies of water lickety split. And when that happens, you can find yourself in a life or death situation. Obviously, in South Louisiana, we love our water. But guys, girls, there are common sense rules that should govern our behavior on water. But there's also laws in place. If you know how to swim and your swimming instructor was worth anything at all. You were taught during those lessons, whether it's a swimming pool, a pond, a lake, what have you, always have a throwable flotation device. So in the instance that someone is drowning, you don't have to go in the water to save them. If you've ever been around a situation where someone is in trouble in water, you know the pains they will go to to extract themselves from that situation. Meaning, you being the good human being and concerned person that you are, will go into the water to try and save them. And they, not on purpose, obviously, many times will end up drowning you in the instance of grasping, clasping on to, and refusing to let go of what they see as their only salvation. Aside from the law saying 
boaters must have a throwable flotation device on board. I understand it's a panic situation. And that throwable, let me give you just a little recommendation here. Get a long rope and attach to that throwable because if in that moment of panic you throw said throwable device and you miss, there's no way for you to pull it back in and attempt to throw it again. And what will happen is, again, in that panic situation, you throw it, you miss the person, now they're even more desperate, and just as a knee-jerk reaction, you go in the water to try and save them. Our sincerest condolences go out to these families. Uh, I can't imagine, particularly in, in the case of the Bryant family, what it would be like to lose a father and a son at the same time. It is sadly probably not the last time we will have this conversation. It is something that laws can only dictate so much to. At the end of the day, the law is what the law is, but it's up to us to comply with whatever those laws happen to be. Again, our sincerest condolences go out to the family, and uh, here's hoping once again that we won't have to have this conversation ever again. Marty, if you would uh, be so kind as to rotate that, uh, I'm totally washed out. Thank you, sir. We uh, also, in Louisiana news, are finally seeing a little bit of headway being made in what is, <laughs> y'all accept this in the spirit that it's given, an iconic eyesore in Baton Rouge. The LSU lakes perennially have been choked every year with algae and unsanitary conditions. And I will be the first to admit for years it has bothered me that one of the very first things you see after crossing the I-10 bridge into East Baton Rouge are the LSU lakes. And we all know what they look like, smell like, and how unsanitary they are. Well, finally, we are making some headway with crews out now uh, performing various functions, trying to figure out the best way to attack the problem. It is something that says a lot about us, and it says a lot about our leadership in this state. Of course, now, if you take a moment and think about it, I guess it is sadly appropriate in that if you go just a stone's throw away from our iconically ugly LSU lakes, you'll end up at Capitol Lakes, less than a stone's throw away from the state capitol. And we know how filthy that place gets regularly. So... I guess what I'm saying here is, as sad a commentary as it happens to be, if it's like that at lakes around the Capitol, it's, I guess, only right that it would be that way at our state's flagship university. At the end of the day, y'all, there are some things we are supposed to be better than, and this is one of those. When... People come to visit our fair city or when their visit has concluded and they're leaving, the first and or last thing they see in our city should not be something this horrible. We have so many amazing things in our area, so many wonderful things in our area that we are proud to show people. But driving through Baton Rouge over the LSU lakes, 
well, there's really no other way to say it. It's embarrassing. It is absolutely embarrassing. I can only imagine what someone who is not from here, what they're thinking driving down the interstate and crossing over the University Lakes and seeing what's there. I mean, you know, we've got a reputation for having swamps and uh, things of that nature. But it's bothersome to think, what must visitors to our home think when they drive through? You realize that's, a, oh, that's LSU right over there. That's, that's the state's flagship university. Oh, my God, look at the lakes outside LSU. Well, yeah, it used to be a swamp. But the operative part of that statement, Marty, is it used to be. It's, <laughs> oh, I know. It's conservation. It's conservation. That's what it is. We're supposed to be better than this, y'all. Hopefully, if everything goes according to plan, project manager Mark Goodson says that uh, work if all goes according to plan, should start the construction phase before the end of the year. Now, how long it's going to take to complete this, only time will tell. But when all is said and done, the number of people that use the LSU lakes and what it represents, not to mention its geographical location, one of the first things you see when you get into the city we deserve better, y'all. We truly do. Pure and simple. This ain't rocket science, y'all. It's not. We are coming up on the first break of today's show. And, of course, being Tuesday and the second segment, when we come back, our ever-glowing tribute to the level of stupidity in this country. Now, for those of you wondering... How do you pay homage to stupid? Well, obviously you haven't seen the new segment we've instituted entitled, Now That's Just Stupid. And, of course, being in America in 2022, if you haven't gotten just yet your fill of stupid, just keep breathing. It's right around the corner. We'll delve into that. After we get our first break of today's show out of the way, come back and continue on with the Tuesday edition of the Clarence Bug Show only on the Pelican. Stay close. Hi, I'm Bobby Yarborough with Manda Fine Meats. Here at Manda, we know what the folks of South Louisiana love. They love great flavored smoked sausage, delicious deli meats, and specialty items like boudin and andouille sausage. Manda Fine Meats has been providing these products since 1947. We produce them right here in Baton Rouge, so you know you're always getting the freshest product at your local grocery store. Manda Fine Meats. Taste the fresh local flavor in everything we make. Make it Manda every time. Bolello's Furniture and Appliances, your dependable independent. Depend on us for service, for selection, for price. Get huge Whirlpool savings. Shop now and save on Whirlpool appliances throughout the store. Plus, experience our price match guarantee and ask about special financing. You can depend on the know-how of people who live appliances every day. Bolello's Furniture and Appliances, your dependable independent with nationwide buying power. I owed the IRS $10,000. The IRS garnished my wages. They put a lien on my house. I'm self-employed and didn't report all my income. They claim I owe a lot more than I do. The IRS is the most powerful collection agency in the world. They do not give up until you pay. I couldn't sleep. We were being audited. I called Tax Solutions Now and a great big weight was lifted off my shoulders. I called Tax Solutions Now and they got the IRS off my back. Tax Solutions Now had 
my wage garnishment lifted in 48 hours. Tax Solutions now can get you help. Our agents know the rules, can stop the pain, and get you the best deal. Tax Solutions now saved my business. I qualified for the Fresh Start program. I paid less than I owed. We connect you with a team of former IRS agents and tax professionals who get the IRS off your back. Time is running out. Call Tax Solutions now. Call 800-778-4345. 800-778-4345. The Mazda CX-50. Confident on and off-road performance and intelligently designed utility inside and out. The all-new Mazda CX-50 has arrived and is on sale right now at Team Mazda on Airline. Hi, gang. Clarence Bugs here, inviting you to come by Old School Barbecue, 10655 Corsi Boulevard, where we tape the show live every Tuesday, Wednesday, and Thursday at 11 o'clock. Come by and feast on news, sports, current events, love of God and country, and lots of common sense, along with some of the best barbecue anywhere on the planet. 10655 Corsi Boulevard, Old School Barbecue, home of the Clarence Bugs Show. Live and play on the fairway at Greystone Golf and Country Club, a serene, challenging golf destination located in Denham Springs. For tee times and membership opportunities, go to greystonecountryclub.com. back to today's edition of the Clarence Bug Show. It is, of course, second segment of the Tuesday show and time for another illustrious edition of, now that's just stupid, in response to the ever-expanding level of stupid in our country, we've instituted a new segment, but this segment is not your ordinary, everyday, run-of-the-mill stupid. That would be the normal, traditional, S-T-U-P-I-D, stupid. What we're talking about here is an entirely new level of stupid. Hence, we've coined its own spelling. S-T-O-O-P-I-D. As in, now that's just stupid. We start Surprise, surprise. <laughs> In the granola state, California. Well, Clarence, why you call it the granola state? Well, if you take out the fruits and the flakes, the only thing left are the nuts. You ought to get that later on. Last year, first time in our country's history, over 100,000 people died from drug overdoses. Fentanyl, the deadly killer, suspected of being the number one cause of overdose deaths in America. So last week, in Tulare County, California, law enforcement pulls over a car and find in the vehicle 25-year-old Jose Zendejas, and 19-year-old Benito Madrigal. Along with these two individuals, 25 and 19 years of age, law enforcement also found 150,000. You heard me right. 150, comma, Three more zeros, 150,000 fentanyl pills. As you might imagine, they were arrested. And as you might also imagine, two days later, they were released, wait for it, on their own recognizance. 100 50,000 fentanyl pills, enough to potentially kill tens of millions of people. And they're released on their own recognizance. According to the 
Tulare County Sheriff's Office there. Quote, all inmates booked into Tulare County jails are sent through what is known as the risk assessment process. This is done through the Tulare County Probation Department. That risk assessment is then sent, forgive me, is then sent on up the ladder to a judge in the court who then determines whether or not the individual arrested is held on bail or if they are to be released. 150,000 fentanyl pills and they are released on their own recognizance. If you give me your word that you'll show up for court, we'll let you leave and go home today. Hmm. Now, of the 150,000, conventional wisdom says this was not their first rodeo. I mean, think about it. You're caught with 150,000 fentanyl pills. In all likelihood, in the vernacular of the streets, you probably done this before. Just didn't get caught. 150,000 fentanyl pills. And they're released on their own recognizance. We might have to add another O to the graphic, as in S-T-O-O, -O. make it two more, O-O-P-I-D, because that's just flat out stupid. Speaking of stupid, <laughs> Howard Stern, shock jock, in the wake of the recent announcement that the Supreme Court was overturning Roe v. Wade, Howard Stern says, you know what? I think I'm going to run for president because we need to fix this kind of stuff. Oh, really? Yeah. And, of course, Howard Stern does what those on the left typically do when it comes to the issue of killing babies. First thing you will hear, second thing you will hear, and all the way down the list to the bottom, you will continue to hear, my body, my choice. Howard Stern is one of those. Rails about the bodily autonomy of women. You can't tell women what to do with their bodies, and their bodies are supposed to be autonomous. But this is the same guy who on his show, in the height of COVID, said it should be mandatory that every person in the country has to take a COVID shot because he values his freedom. So let me get this straight, liberal. When it comes to a woman's body, there's bodily autonomy. But when it comes to anybody else's body, COVID shot, that doesn't count. <laughs> the liberal mindset in this country shows us just how horribly asleep at the wheel we were as Americans. We allowed this sort of foolishness to take hold, y'all. And now we find ourselves dealing with stupid over and over and over and over and over again. Now, apparently, <laughs> Howard Stern thinks he has a shot. And you'll notice something in regards to the liberal meltdown over this Supreme Court ruling. These people 
have delusions of grandeur. These folks think, erroneously, obviously, that they are a whole lot more important than they actually are. For example, the, uh, the singer, entertainer, Pink, who tweeted this weekend, for all of y'all that agree with the Supreme Court decision, in the name of your Lord, please don't effing, and she didn't say effing, she spelled it out, don't effing listen to my music anymore. Uh, Miss Pink, we wasn't listening to you anyway. Pure and simple. This from a woman who hadn't had a hit since the Obama years. And apparently not being able to listen to her music is supposed to be some sort of punishment. <laughs> One of the funniest tweets I saw in response to that said, oh, OK, don't listen to your music anymore. If we agree with the Supreme Court decision, okay, well, yeah, we're good. We accept those terms. We're good. <laughs> there is something to be said about being a legend in your own mind. There's something to be said about that. There truly is. Because when all is said and done, we really don't care what you think. We don't. And we care even less about your music. Pure and simple. Pure and simple. Little common sense would really go a long way in America these days. And I know Marty's looking at me like, if you expect these fools to have common sense, then you just stupid. I get it, brother. I get it. The Roe v. Wade decision broke shortly after we left air last week. So I haven't had the opportunity to address that just yet. But you know your buddy Clarence has got something to say about it. Let me get this bottom of the hour break out of the way. The left, as you have seen, losing its collective mind. And you know what's really ironic about this? If you look at their reaction to the Supreme Court overturning Roe v. Wade, all of a sudden we see on full display for the entire planet who the real hateful people are, who the real violent people are, who the real folks are that are looking to, quote, end our democracy. We'll talk about that. But first, bottom of the hour break. And then we'll soldier on with today's edition of the Clarence Bug Show only on the Pelican. Stay close. Got termites? Get Premier Pest. PremierPestServices.com At the Team Automotive Group, we're offering you the team guarantee on new and used vehicles. Included with every new vehicle is a lifetime limited powertrain warranty. And now, get a 90-day warranty on the purchase of a pre-owned vehicle. Get the team guarantee at every location of the Team Automotive Group. Hi, I'm Katie, Operation Manager here at Old School Barbecue. We're excited about all of the changes here at Old School, and we'd like to invite everyone to come out and enjoy some delicious barbecue at Old School prices. We feature brisket, chicken, ribs, sausage, and the Boss Hog Pulled Pork Sandwich voted best deal in town. We also have live music Friday and Saturday from 7 to 10 p.m. 10655 Corsi Boulevard. We can't wait to see you. Hello guys, it's Debbie. It's time. I've got a brand new location. 10510 Airline Highway, Baton Rouge, next to After Five Tuxedos. We have the perfect spot to get all your wedding and formal wear needs. Come see our one-of-a-kind name brand and get great prices. With 30 years experience, the best customer service anywhere. It's Debbie's Bridal, Airline Highway, Baton Rouge. See you soon. 
Hi, I am Dr. Farrell Frugé, Jr., and I am a general dentist at Frugé Family Dentistry. I was born and raised in Baton Rouge, Louisiana. I went to Catholic High School, LSU, and LSU School of Dentistry in New Orleans, where I received my DDS degree in 1986. I always have and will continue to be committed to continuing my education, to invest in technology, which makes the diagnosis and delivery of dentistry more thorough, more comfortable, and more aesthetically pleasing. In our practice, we are here to serve the patients. We want to improve their quality of life and to develop relationships with our patients. In dentistry, we have a chance to impact lives on a daily basis, not just by doing dentistry, but by getting to know them and being a part of their life. We also believe in giving back to our community. So every year, we give back to the Greater Baton Rouge Food Bank, Toys for Tots, and Mary Bird Perkins Cancer Center. Please stop by and visit our office. We would love to take care of you and your family. Hi, I'm Hurricane Betsy Barnes. And I'm Dr. Kay Siller with the Rocket Right Show. We are two busy blondes on the go showing off life in Louisiana. Watch us on Pelican Sports Network. And Talk 107.3 FM. Check local listings for times. Caught spiders. Premier Pest Services. Welcome back to today's edition of the Clarence Bug Show. We, um, have watched as Americans the reaction to the Supreme Court announcing last week the overturning of Roe v. Wade. Those of us on the right, conservatives, we knew <laughs> the meltdown that was coming. And you know, as an American you can probably take to the bank the fact that there will be seminal moments that happen at least once in your lifetime. There's going to be something that for the rest of your life you will remember where you were, what you were doing when this event happened. The assassination of President Kennedy the assassination of the Reverend Dr. Martin Luther King Jr., 9-11, so on and so forth. And you can tell a lot about a society the way it reacts to these seminal moments in history. The left, following the announcement from the highest court in the land, immediately, and, and you knew this was coming, immediately started walking down the list of liberal talking points. And of course, the one that you hear the most is my body, my choice. Now, let me say for the record, if you truly believe that, and more important, if you are willing to apply it equally across the board, most people that I know, be they liberal or conservative, or libertarian for that matter, won't have a problem with it as long as it is applied universally. But these are the same people, y'all, liberals, Democrats, progressives, these are the same people that when it came to you putting something in your body that you don't want, don't know what it is, and are scared to death of the side effects and after effects, they demanded that you give up your bodily autonomy in the interest of the public good. Same people, y'all. Hypocrisy, much, but I digress. Let's understand something here, y'all. And this is specifically for those of you 
that for whatever reason didn't think it important to gain a working knowledge of how this country operates. You are going to hear, and you have heard, and you will continue to hear, those on the left say, oh, well, these people took away a constitutional right that women had enjoyed for 50 years. Uh-uh-uh. See, you telling on yourself. You are telling all Americans and the rest of the world that you have no freaking clue on how this country works. For over a hundred years, y'all, abortion was regulated by the individual states. All the Supreme Court did with this ruling is clarify the fact that nowhere in the Constitution is the federal government given the right that Roe v. Wade granted them. In other words, for over a hundred years, y'all, abortion was regulated by the states. Then in the mid-70s, the highest court in the land, the one they want to abolish now, the liberals, out of thin air, they made a law. Now, again, for those of you that slept through civics class and American history class, let me help you out. We have three separate and equal branches of government. The judiciary, the executive branch, and the legislative branch. For 50 years, we have labored in this country under the Supreme Court's decision, Roe v. Wade, and made a law. That ain't your business, son. The courts are specifically prohibited from making law. That's the Congress's job. That's the legislature's job. And the reason all three branches are separate and equal is so that one will not usurp the purview of another. It is not the court's job, it is not their right, and it is not their responsibility to make law. That ain't how we roll in this country, buddy. It's not. So for 50 years now, we have labored as a country under something that never should have happened to begin with. But you know what's ironic here? All these liberals raising holy hell about the Supreme Court decision and all the cities where all the protests are happening, if these people had any sense at all, they would realize, okay, the Supreme Court gave the power back to the states. I'm a lib. I live in California, the granola state, so we're going to get to vote on it. And in all likelihood, since we are a liberal state, we'll continue to have abortions. These idiots can't think far enough down the process to realize this. Instead, what do they do? Oh, they riot. They burn stuff. They attack people. When in fact, all the Supreme Court did was to give the individual states the right to decide for themselves. Something that was done for over 100 years. Until that day when the court decided, poof, out of thin air, we're going to make a law. Uh-uh. You managed to hoodwink us for 50 years, but that part is over now, son. That part is over. But let me show you liberal logic. <laughs> it has invaded corporate America. All sorts of major corporations now weighing in on the decision. 
one of whom, not the least of which happens to be Dick's Sporting Goods. Remember, not so very long ago, Dick's Sporting Goods decided we are no longer going to sell guns because guns kill people. Now, apparently, Dick's Sporting Goods was selling a gun that would magically jump off the shelf, load itself, and then go find somebody to shoot. A black man. Yeah, that, that, that's what it starts. That's where they start, Marty. So Dick's Sporting Goods decided we're no longer selling guns because guns kill people. But then they turn right around and announce this weekend they are going to pay four thousand dollars up to four grand per person for their employees per woman who gets pregnant. Now, I don't know about the dudes. We got to fight over that one. We're going to fight over that one. <laughs> yeah, because a man can be pregnant. Right. Liberals. They are going to pay up to $4,000 for any of their female employees that get pregnant and want an abortion. So let me get this straight. You're no longer selling guns because guns kill people. But you're paying $4,000, up to $4,000 per female employee to kill a baby. Babies ain't people. Right. Right. Despite the fact, and I've, I've had this conversation with so many of my liberal friends, and I shut them up real quick. Because I ask, um, this fetus that you're talking about, if you take it out of the womb, what happens? Well, it dies. Which means it was what? Alive. There goes your argument. But we're not going to sell guns because guns kill people. But you have no problem paying up to four grand per female employee for them to kill a baby. Huh. Funny how that works, huh? But the left, oh, oh they're not done. This one, this one broke my heart because of her ignorance. The entertainer Lizzo announcing this week that she is going to donate up to a million dollars of proceeds from her tour to Planned Parenthood. This is a black woman, y'all. She obviously does not know that the founder of Planned Parenthood was arguably one of the most racist women to ever walk this planet. Do a little research and find out who formed Planned Parenthood and you will probably end up running across Margaret Sanger's, quote, the Negro Project. In this project, she, Ms. Sanger, says, you know, to get this to work the way it's designed to work. We need the black clergy. If we can get black pastors on board, they will deal with the, quote, rebellious members of their congregation. So here's a black woman, Lizzo, going to donate up to a million dollars to an organization whose founder was one of the most racist women on the planet and paved the way for the aborting of 20 million black babies. Anybody want to take a guess on what she identifies politically as being? I can tell you right now it ain't conservative. Just an observation. Final break of today's show. We'll get her done. Come back, put that big old pretty bow on this puppy and wrap up today's edition of the Clarence Bug Show only on the Pelican. Stay close.
You can't smell it, but you can almost taste it. And whether it's for a family get-together or a game day feast, having Randa in the mix always sounds good. For three generations, their quality meats and original seasonings have made Manda a Louisiana legend and made their family sausage Louisiana's family sausage. Manda Fine Meats, the flavor says it all. Treads and Care Tire Company announces its new location on Hooper Road in Central. Locally owned for 50 years, Treads and Care is known for quality automotive repair with top-notch customer service. Treads and Care offers the convenience of shuttle service and pickup and delivery of your vehicle. You can also enjoy the comfortable customer area, complete with workstations, high-speed internet, and a complimentary coffee bar. I'd like to invite you to come out and see us at our new location in Central. Treads and Care, the tires you need and the service you want. Live and play on the fairway at Greystone Golf and Country Club, a serene, challenging golf destination located in Denham Springs. For tee times and membership opportunities, go to greystonecountryclub.com. Tremonti's has meat. Tremonti's has seafood. Tremonti's has much more. Tailgating and home gating platters. Huge wine and liquor selection. Beer and all the spices you need. Chairman Reserve and Wagyu meats. Ribeye rolls, shrimp rolls, kebabs. 20 flavors of sausage for the grill. Daily lunch specials and game processing. On-site catering also available. Good meat ain't cheap and cheap meat ain't good. Visit Tremontese.com. Sometimes life is wonderful. And sometimes it's not. Cherish the good. But always be prepared for life's challenges. At Private Healthcare, we provide the peace of mind you deserve. With Private Healthcare, you'll get the coverage you want and healthcare you need. If your employer doesn't supply healthcare coverage and you don't qualify for Medicare or Medicaid, you need to give us a call right now. Private Healthcare is private health insurance for ages 65 and under with medical, dental, vision, and even prescription coverage. When life comes at you unexpectedly, you need to be ready. And health insurance is your financial safety net. Health insurance has never been so easy and affordable. If you're looking for health coverage at the best price and your annual household income is $35,000 or more, call the number on the screen now and speak with a live health care consultant. Don't wait. Get the coverage you need now. Welcome back to the final segment of today's edition of the Clarence Buck Show, if you would. Perfect. Thank you, sir. Uh, as we get ready to uh, wrap up today's show, <laughs> I guess I would apply the moniker to this closing segment. As Americans, we might be slow, but we get there eventually. As a baby boomer, it is particularly painful to watch the destruction of time-honored institutions in this country. More than just yours truly has bemoaned the fact that higher education and public education is now more an indoctrination than it is education. We have also bemoan the fact that a free press instrumental and necessary for the survival of our republic is no longer a free press. As a matter of fact, Fox Digital News, their digital news report, for 11 years now has been gauging the public's trust of another institution, the media. Their most recent survey collected data from six continents and 46 markets, trying to find out how Americans feel 
about the media and more important, how much we trust or don't trust the media. The 2021 sample shows that America has the least trusted news media on planet Earth. You heard me right. The country that has enshrined in its bedrock the need for a free press now has the lowest level of trust in the press of any place on the planet. Now, typically, when you hear something like this, if you're, if you're a thinking person to even the minutest degree, you find yourself asking, okay, how did this happen? I mean, after all, as Americans, we value facts. Well, at least we used to. We value the opportunity to be given information, unfettered, unbiased, and allow me as an American to make up my own mind how I feel about whatever the issue happens to be. So in thinking, how could this have possibly happened? Well, it's really pretty simple. The American people have awakened to the unending litany of lies that have been spewed by the mainstream and, lest we forget, social media. These folks, mainstream media, particularly ABC, NBC, C, BS, NPR, New York Times, USA Today, Time Magazine, CNN LOL, MSLSD, and all the rest of them have lied to us over and over and over and over again. And as they typically do, the more sensational the story, the more sensational the lie. The more sensational the story, the more we can push our warped agenda. Think about it. <laughs> the American media, the least trusted on planet Earth. How did we arrive here? Well, when you have a group of people hammering incessantly every day, every night, seven days a week for God knows how long, telling us that Jesse Smollett was a victim. And we find out later it was a self-concocted load of horse hockey. Then, of course, there was the Russia collusion story. Every freaking day, every freaking night for going on two years, Russia collusion, Russian collusion, Russian collusion, collusion Russia, 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 collusion, 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 to find out later on it was all a flat-out lie. And, of course, the mostly peaceful BLM and Antifa riots. And we all knew then, and we know now, it was a lie. The Covington KKK kids, remember that story? It was a lie. Hands up, don't shoot. Remember that one? And like the rest of them, it was a lie. The very fine people comments attributed to Trump. We now know, and most of us knew back then, yet another lie. Serial rapist 
Brett Kavanaugh on the Supreme Court. And of course, we found out after talking to the woman who made the charges, she can't remember anything about it, but the media took that story and ran with it. The rape case at the University of Virginia, remember that one? Ginned up all sorts of hate over yet another lie. And of course, who could forget Kyle Rittenhouse, white supremacist, doing nothing more than exercising his constitutional rights. But again, it's a lie. We're not going to even talk about the Hunter Biden laptop. Another lie. Well, that's, that's got all the hallmarks of, of, of Russian disinformation. And we've got a letter from 51 former high-ranking intelligence officers to back us up on this. <laughs> Funny how that works in lib land, isn't it? Intelligence officials have the least amount of, wait for it, intelligence. Yet another lie. This one backed up by 51 former high-ranking intelligence officials. Now, <laughs> pants on fire. Conventional wisdom would say, okay, looking at how people view us and the job we've done, they are running from us in droves, telling anybody who will ask, we don't trust them. So conventional wisdom says, if you really cared about it, you would simply go back to telling people the truth and let them make up their own minds. But not this bunch of clowns, uh-uh. Which is why, as a member of the profession for some 41 years now, I don't feel sorry for them. What's the old adage? Play stupid games, you win stupid prizes. Stupid, stupid, stupid. The good news is, the, rank, the ratings continue to drop. My time's up, y'all, and I got to go. But this day, oh, maybe more so than any other, I give it to you. You know what? You're right. America, we ain't perfect. But for this old boy's money, it's the best there is, and God knows there's no place else on his green earth that I'd rather be. Speaking of the good Lord, you realize he loves you, right? And I hope you know that I do, too. Either way, best news you're going to get all day. There ain't a doggone thing you can do about either one. Take care of yourselves. We'll see you soon. God bless.